Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm taking you on a Google Earth map tour of Morristown, New Jersey, and I'll literally be taking you through the streets and through the air, pointing out bars, restaurants, parks, nightlife, entertainment, you name it, I'm covering it. Also, you can get a better idea of what it's like to move to Morristown, New Jersey. Stay tuned to the end of this video so you don't miss Morristown's best kept secret. Let's go. My name is Kevin and this is Living in New Jersey and I make these videos so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into when making the move to the Garden State. I'm also a realtor and I would love to be a real estate choice when making the move to New Jersey so feel free to call, text, or email me at any time. All right, so where exactly is Morristown? I always like to use New York City as a reference point because everyone knows New York City. So we're about 30 miles west of New York City. It takes you about an hour to an hour and a half drive. There is a train station and a direct train line to New York City from Morristown, and that gets you to uh, the city in a little bit over an hour. So as you can see, we got New York over here. Then 30 miles west, we're gonna go towards Morristown. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the neighboring towns that are nearby. So I'm gonna switch over to this map. So Morristown is right here. It's a small little circle. It's surrounded by Morris Township, also closely bordered by Parsippany, Morris Plains, Hanover, which is a part of uh, Whippany is a town that's in that, that section, Florham Park, Madison, little tip of Chatham, and Harding. Then we've also got Mendham Township to our west, and then also Randolph, which is where I live. So let's get into the Google Map Tour. So again, we've got uh, Central Park right over here. I'm just gonna type in Morristown, and it's gonna bring us, zoom us in. All right, so let me move this. We'll orient ourselves so we're north and south. <clears throat> When this, let's start in the 2D version. So I'm gonna start in the center of town at the Morristown Green. And this is definitely like the hub of Morristown. It's essentially like a little park and a traffic circle. Uh, they do some live events here. This is kind of like the main area for the Morristown St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'm gonna do a little street view just so you can kind of get a feel for what the streets are like here. All right, so it looks like we're in a nice summer day in Morristown. We've got some shops and restaurants to my right. And I'm just gonna keep zooming through here. Got some churches. Now we're in fall. Nothing like fall in Morris County. It's definitely my favorite time of the year. A little upside down sign. Someone must have got a little rowdy and adjusted that a bit. Then we've got uh, 1776, which is a newer restaurant to Morristown. It also has an indoor top golf facility. Uh, and I actually hosted one of my buddies' bachelor parties here. So there's plenty to do in Morristown. This is an old uh, Century 21 building. It's now vacant. Uh, so it's a big department store that's got nothing in it as of right now. But yeah, making our way around here. We're heading towards the Committed Pig, which is a burger spot. Also great for breakfast. Uh, definitely a popular area. Then right here, these are some like luxury condos um, right on the green. So you're looking at probably like a million dollars range for an apartment here. We've got Starbucks, Root Steakhouse, which is a fancy restaurant. And then I'm going to continue making my way down South Street. So as you can see, this is old route 24 i'm just going to hop out of this street view for one second just to show you some context of uh, what this road brings you so this is old route 24 it's called south street running through morristown but if i zoom out this road takes you all the way into uh, mendham eventually chester long valley uh, so you just you can get a feel so it takes you into mendham township mendham borough chester and then eventually into uh, the Long Valley, Washington Township area over here. All right, so let me get back to our street view of South Street. All right. So I'm taking you on a street view here because this is really where the bulk of those shops, restaurants, bars, and entertainment are. 
And immediately to my right, we've got Iron Bar, which is super popular with a lot of the, the younger crowd. Then right next door, there's kind of like this craft beer uh, bar. They actually have some pretty decent food too. And then another uh, bar restaurant is the Office Tavern. And they've done it, they've recently updated it pretty significantly in the last five or six years. So it's a good spot. We got a little boutique store, 23 South, great for some last minute gift items. Uh, Wells Fargo, there's a couple bars and restaurants down this road as well. Some more churches, but you can see like, it's a lot of nice looking architecture throughout this section of town. Uh, this is actually Fleet Feet, which is a running store that I went to recently. And I walked in there, it's funny because the guy who was helping me was like, hey, I know you from somewhere. And I'm like, I haven't probably been in here in probably seven years, man, so I doubt, I doubt you know me. But what happened was he was actually moving from Utah with his wife. And they were watching all my videos trying to figure out where they wanted to move to and they ended up on Morristown. And I asked him like, well, why didn't you call me, man? And he was like, ah, oh, we ended up getting a rental and this and that. So I told him like, I'm here to help. Whether you're getting a rental, uh, if you're purchasing a home, whatever it is, I'm here to help you just be, make a more informed decision on that move. So don't be afraid to call, text, or email me at any time. That's just why I'm making these videos. So we'll continue down the road here. Again, just more restaurants. We're gonna make our way closer towards um, uh, right here, local cafe. There's a new coffee shop that opened. It's got really cool vibe, really trendy place. Then there's Clean Juice, which is actually being renamed to Tyree's Table because David Tyree was a former uh, New York Giant, famous for that uh, catch on his helmet during the Super Bowl against the Patriots. Uh, then Hummus Republic right next to it is a great Mediterranean place. Think like Chipotle, but Mediterranean style. Uh, so that's a really good spot. Then this restaurant, South and Pine, is probably my absolute favorite restaurant. They've got this salmon sandwich that is absolutely delicious and they have a cool little outdoor area uh, to eat outside on a nice day. Then the Morristown Library is over here. But again, just like really cool architecture. It's a historic town. Then the Vale Mansion is over here. There's a restaurant um, called the Jockey Hollow Bar and Kitchen is over here. Definitely, if you're into those like trendy, you know, cocktails and drinks, this is a, a great spot for you. Now we're gonna make our way towards a couple other restaurants. This is actually where our office is, EXP. You can see uh, it's right up in this little loft area. There's a salon underneath us. The Creamery has been a long time restaurant. They have obviously ice cream. Uh, but to be honest, it's not my favorite ice cream spot in town. And we'll get to that one a little bit later. Sterling Tavern is also another great spot. And then I'll finish up with this little restaurant tour with Swiss Chalet. And look at this guy. He is absolutely jacked up to be going to Swiss Chalet. So this is a bakery. Obviously you can get like cakes for special occasions. There's cookies, there's you know any kind of pastry you could think of, but they also have great breakfast and lunch items. And I often see a lot of cyclists kind of hanging out out here, uh, kind of mid bike ride, taking a break for a coffee and a snack. So, you know, just a, a great option. All right, let's get back into the satellite view here. I'm going to reorient so I can get my bearings back. All right, so back to South Street. Now I'm going to start here in the Ligerwood neighborhood just to kind of explain this section. So you can see Route 287 running right along the Ligerwood uh, section. And this goes north and south. So obviously you can go north towards New York State or south and just go to more items or more places in uh, New Jersey, just more south. All right, so Lazarwood Park is kind of at the center of this neighborhood. And just check out some of the B-roll of some of the neighborhood drive-bys that I'm talking about uh, that I've taken in previous videos. But we've got a baseball field, there's a playground here, a couple tennis courts, basketball court, and there's a whole walking path that runs along the outskirts of this neighborhood. And I was actually here with my wife the other day and my son, uh, just to kind of kill some time, go to change the scenery up. And there was a ton of people playing tennis and uh, guys playing uh, basketball over here. And there's, it was a very lively park. Then 
right across the street, we've got Foots Pond. And my wife and I used to actually live in a old carriage house that is right over here. And I would walk here often just to, uh, you know, read a book or just kind of unwind after a long work day. Tried to fish here a couple times. Uh, I never caught anything, which doesn't necessarily mean there's not fish any there, but I don't know. I never had any luck. Then the Thomas Jefferson Elementary School is right over in this section. But now, oh, I don't want to forget too, in this uh, Leisure Woods section, you're really close to King's Grocery Store, which is like a more high-end grocery store. You're going to be paying a little bit more money. I tend to like to go there for like, if I need to grab a lunch, they have a, you know, a good deli, some, a bunch of good pre-prepared foods, which are nice. But let's start making our way a little bit closer to that South Street. This is like the downtown area. It's definitely a historic district. I just want to take you through one street. It's called uh, Miller uh, Road. So I'm going to throw us down here on Miller. There's just some absolutely beautiful houses. And some of these are actually going for like $6 million. Just proximity, size. These have like a lot bigger lots than most of Morristown. So usually they're more closer together. So let's take you down memory lane. But when we lived in this area, we would go for walks just down the street all the time. Just admiring the... The architecture and the beauty of a lot of these homes. I always referred to this one as the White House. It has a White House vibe to it. Oh, but as you can see, this was kind of in the works. And this, when, when the Google Earth van was driving around here, but they've since finished it. Let's see if I move a little bit further if you could see the finished product. But yeah. This little contemporary style home. There's an apartment building over here. So most of Morristown is like, I would say multifamilies and apartments. There are some single family homes in this section. Not all of them are this large, uh, but you're, you're gonna be paying a premium just for location alone. And if you take this all the way down, it's gonna bring you right to that Vale Mansion pond that I had showed you earlier. Okay, so this is like a great walking area. Pretty flat relatively. Uh, let me reorient again. Okay. So now we're going to make our way a little bit further west. And I'm going to go towards the... So you can see it starts getting a little more green over this way. Which is just trees and parks a little bit further spread out. So Burnham Park is over here to the northwest section of Morristown. They've got basketball courts, baseball fields, ponds. You definitely can fish in these and there are fish in, in these ponds. Let's see if I can get the, if I can do a 3D kind of version here, just because you can see the the elevation, right? It, it gets a little hilly over here. So for the vast majority of these homes, you're going to be like sitting up on a hill or sitting at the bottom of a hill. So check out some of my B-roll from some of the other videos I've done. Actually, we can do a flashback to when I was doing a vlog in this neighborhood going up a hill. Flashback. I had to take a break. My heart's beating out of my chest. But as I mentioned, it is very steep. And when I get to the top of this hill also, end of flashback. It's hilly. It's like very, very steep. So if you want a flat backyard, this is probably not the neighborhood for you, but obviously it's still walkable to uh, Morristown. Uh, this is that green that we were talking about just while we have it in 3D mode. Uh, this is the, the Hyatt, it's a hotel. And there's uh, a movie theater in here, a couple other restaurants, and a lot of like people use their office space in this section. Then there's Morristown High School, which is nearby. And then we've got uh, Sherman Park over here. You can see it starts to get a little bit more elevated in this section. Uh, these are going to be older homes. Uh, a lot of m more multifamilies are going to be popping up here as well. Then if you see this building over here, this is Madura 44. It's a kind of a high-end modern apartment building. I actually have a lot of clients who call me from YouTube that are just trying to get a feel for what the area is like before they make the, the or the, before they pull the trigger on actually purchasing a home. And I direct them to Madura 44, and then you can't see it here, but there's an identical building, Madura 55, right across the street. Madura 55 has a pool 
Modura, Modura 34 doesn't, so that's really the main difference. Modura 55 is a little bit newer. Obviously, you can see it was built after that. So just something to keep in mind. So if we continue to move, uh, I gotta reorient because I don't know what direction. I'm kind of northeast. This is gonna be the Cutler Park area. So again, if you want a flat yard, you wanna stick to this section. Their houses are a little closer together, but that's kind of Morristown in general. Uh, check out some of the B-roll that I've got from this neighborhood, some drive-by footage so you can kind of see what I'm, what we're what we're working with here. All right, so this is Speedwell uh, Park Pond. There is a little park that you can go to uh, at this pond. Nothing to really write home about. This is the New Jersey Transit Tracks. So if we take those all the way into town here, the train station is uh, right here. <clears throat> so I'll zoom in. So you can see there's a decent amount of parking. Uh, there's an apartment building over here. I gotta think you could probably hear the train <laughs> um, being that close to the train. But then there's some more bars and restaurants in this section. There's a cool little restaurant called End of Elm right over here. They have really great brunch. I like the uh, chicken and waffles. And I've been to a couple people have hosted some like, you know, small events and gatherings there too. But that's a, a great spot to go to. Oh, this is, this is interesting. You can see that this is uh, burnt down. So there, what this used to be a restaurant called uh, Sebastian's, I think, and they've since rebuilt, and now it's called the Town. It has a really cool vibe and ambiance there too. So a little bar restaurant area. They do have a rooftop uh, section, which is kind of cool. So you can really hop off the train from work, head over to the town, grab a drink, unwind from the the, the work week, and uh, just a cool option. And again, in Morris County. There's not many like towns that have that kind of uh, entertainment and nightlife and things that you can do stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff and you want to be able to walk to that on a regular basis, Morristown is definitely the place that you want to go. So now we're going to be now we're in the northern like northeast section of Morristown and this is like almost all multifamily. So I'm going to do a little street view here. I'll pop ourselves down. So if you're looking for like an investment property in Morristown, there's gonna be some options in this section. So I'll just kind of scroll through here. You can see two doors, multifamily. This is most likely a multifamily as well with that fire escape here. Let's see if we could look down that road. Two doors, so yeah, there's a lot of multifamily options in this section of Morristown. See, this one's a newer build. So plenty of options for investors in Morristown. All right, let's go back to the aerial view. Little cemetery here, actually a big cemetery there. All right, reorient, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Now, I also wanna take you to this section. So we got the Morristown Green over here. Then two reasons why I'm taking you here. So this parking lot is actually used for the Morristown Farmer's Market. So every weekend throughout the summer months, there's a really great farmer's market in this parking lot. And then this area, is actually now a traffic circle. So it doesn't look like this anymore. This little shopping center is now completely demolished and they built a corporate complex uh, right here. So if I do a street view, I'm not sure if it's gonna show you the circle, but it might show you the new building. Oh, okay, so yeah, we got the new traffic circle. And I there is a lot of traffic in Morristown, especially during rush hour. And I think that this traffic circle addition has been extremely helpful. So you can see the new office building that they built. But yeah, Morristown is definitely on the rise. Like they're only building, and in my opinion, it's probably only gonna get more and more crowded. Uh, Raul's Empanadas is right here, Dunkin' Donuts. Then one of my favorite stops, is uh, Beanie's. Let's see if I can get a little further away so I can see it. So Beanie's is an ice cream shop. 
and it was named after the owner's dog, but they have some really cool, funky, you know, flavors like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and uh, Dunkaroos, and I like the coffee Oreo ice cream, so we go there pretty often. Now, one more spot that I wanna talk about, well, a couple more spots. This is CrossFit Morristown, and I always, my wife coaches CrossFit here, I used to be big into CrossFit, but if, if I have someone moving from out of state and they know absolutely no one, I always tell them to join CrossFit Morristown or a local CrossFit gym just because of the community that exists. And I think CrossFit has kind of a stigma around it with being a bunch of meatheads or, you know, I, I don't know, hardcore people. But you will not meet nicer people by coming into this gym specifically. And it's like instant friends. You're kind of paying for friends, but you're going to surround yourself with people who, you know, live a healthy lifestyle, like to exercise, eat right, but then also have fun too. So especially the group in Morristown, they like to go out to enjoy the bars and restaurants together. And it's definitely like a tight knit community and just great people in general. And this is a little photo op opportunity for those uh, Morristown locals, but it's a, uh, I always leave with a smile uh, coming from CrossFit Morristown. Uh, all right, so as we kind of wrap up the video here, I think I just want to hit up one more spot that I call a little, uh, I would like to think of it as a little hidden gem in Morristown. And that's this section of town right here. So I'm a foodie, if you haven't been able to tell from this video. And in this section of Morristown, we've got Marty's Bicycle Shop. So I like to ride my bike as well. And then if we keep going, I, I always refer to this little section as Town Square or Times Square, Mini Times Square, just because of how this building is and how the road splits around it. But obviously nowhere near the New York City Times Square. But then we've got this little hole in the wall deli. It's called Longfellows. And I'm a huge fan of this place. You, would, you Obviously you would drive right past it and you would have no idea that it even existed. But I'm telling you right now, you come to Morristown, you want the best sub that you've ever had, you're gonna go to Longfellow's. Um, all right, so yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this tour. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any other questions or ideas, leave it down in the comments. If you have ideas for new videos or other towns you want me to do this in, Put it down in the comments below. I would love to help out. And again, I'm a, a realtor in New Jersey. I make these videos just for you guys so you can make an informed decision before making the move to the Garden State. So feel free to call, text, or email me at any time, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>